Hey guys, how y'all doing? So right now I'm in uh, the bathroom in my house. You know, so I'm gonna be on my next trip report now. So I typically do not fly Delta, but today I'm gonna be trying out their Embraer aircraft flying from SNA or Santa Ana Airport to Seattle Tacoma Airport and I'm gonna do the same on the way back even though I might upgrade to Comfort Plus all right so I just finished up security and I'm gonna board in a bit so yeah I'll see you when I'm bored so our trip started off pretty bad on Delta Airlines given our flight was delayed by three hours but Delta kept the food cart along with cookies which are really tasty like I mean Delta's and the Oreo minis of course tasty they have sodas they have water they have a lot of good stuff available so I took some Oreo minis and some Delta cookies and they did a good job Airlines on their long haul flights typically provide their board headphones and a box full of snacks. There were some billboard phones and I like the gate pair. I could get one of these. She said sure, so if you go with Delta, you're actually doing a pretty good job, even though we're badly delayed. On board the flight, we had good leg room, even though it wasn't the best leg room. Like, I barely had enough space to move myself, but there are some airlines which I clearly don't have enough space to move myself even in. And the seats were decently comfortable, but they could get better. Within the seat pocket we have our typical safety card, nothing big. Then we do have our Wi-Fi card which is pretty good or as my phone says it's 12 Mbps but I never paid for it even though I might pay for it on my next flight. 
and I believe you could get WhatsApp, iMessage, and Facebook Messenger free, but I never checked it out because my phone was out of battery. So I'll check that out next flight. And there is Delta Studio in flight entertainment streaming to your device, but they do not offer PTVs. We do get just one drink and cookies, pretzels, or peanuts as a choice for our meal but I don't know I wish Delta sold some extra snacks because a lot of other airlines offer much better snacks compared to Delta so Delta your domestic food is bad alright so right now I'm in the bathroom so it's super echoey but let me show you around the bathroom yeah. Alright, I gotta get to my seat, but as you can see right here, we have a nice light, got this, nice sink, some nice soap. It smells real good in this bathroom, it's the best smelling bathroom ever in a plane. Have one of these vents, something I haven't seen in any other airline, have tissues, I don't know, toilet tissue, possibly, and then have the flush button and some toilet tissue, and then for mommies who want to change diapers, you have this thingy. There was an empty row of Comfort Plus just in front of our seat and for that reason I figured out it would be great to check out Comfort Plus. Let me tell you, Comfort Plus is more expensive than United and American as far as an upgrade goes. But on Delta you get quite a few perks given there's no power in the other seats and you have power in Comfort Plus. And you have a lot more leg room. And I would really like to just thank the flight attendant for allowing me to sit in Comfort Plus for a review, even though it was for just a few minutes. But yeah. Zuzi on the track.
we're about to get into an elevator and get to the place where we can catch our Uber. Alright guys, so the Delta flight review, the overall review, I'm planning to make one probably on IGTV, you know, go check me out there and yeah guys, add me on social media, drop a like, pound that subscribe button because we're almost at 300 subscribers. Yeah guys, that should be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. And yeah guys, goodbye.